Every single retail investor that's in the stock market, every single one, in my personal opinion at least, is in the stock market for one common reason, to make as much money as possible so they can do whatever the hell they want to do with their lives. The vast majority of retail investors did come into the stock market in 2020, 2021. What year did you come into the stock market? Think about it. Chances are, if you are in the stock market in the last two years, you made yourselves a lot of money for that bull market, and you've probably found it very difficult to make a lot of money this year in the bear market. Now, 2022 is coming to an end. 2023 is going to be a brand new year. You've probably gathered yourself around five to 10 years of experience in the last two years if you're a new retail investor into the market, but you can play the market both ways. Now, I have been speaking about Tesla, potentially having one of the best short plays you can possibly play here. I was talking about Tesla from 215. I was talking about Tesla from 350, and I'm still talking about Tesla now that it's down to below $120. I currently still think there's a lot more downside to play, but don't take my word for it. Here's somebody, Danny Moses, who was featured on The Big Short, who has a very interesting take on the fundamental value, the perceived value, and of course, the future for Tesla stock. All right, if you guys have not yet, do me a quick favor before we get into this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. My name is TMI. I am the Mass Investor. Let's take a listen to this. Here we go. Tesla, meantime, one of the only two positive NASDAQ 100 stocks today, but don't get too excited. Tesla is still one of the index's worst performers so far this week, down almost 12 percent. CEO Elon Musk dumping almost $3.6 billion worth of stock this week. And our next guest predicts more trouble ahead. Danny Moses of the Big Short fame is... Just to be clear, guys, Tesla is currently down 9.09 percent today. But let's keep this going. Founder of Moses Ventures, he is shorting Tesla. Still, not enough for you. Not downside. enough yet. No, not enough yet. What, what, what more is there here? Well, it's still a $500 billion company, and uh -huh. I don't think that the fundamentals justify that valuation. And listen, if I was a, as good at this trading stock as Elon Musk was, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be taking a vacation somewhere because he has sold now $40 billion over the last 13 months as we move lower here. So just to be clear, $40 billion, roughly Twitter, he bought it for $44 billion. The numbers being that similar is funny. Also, Elon Musk basically did top tick the stock market last year in November and also has continued to sell shares almost every month this year. But with the exception of the fact that he said he's done selling shares all through 2023, we'll see if he stays up to it. Let's keep it going. Yeah, even if you put the short on when Elon Musk made the bid for Twitter, you would be in very good shape. I'm just wondering at this point, as you see the story unfold, what makes you so confident that there is more downside here? Is there something very concerning to you that's happening So I think here? that a lot of the stock price has been about his brand, mm -hmm. and we've seen that now get hit a little bit. And if you're a fundamental investor and you like Tesla, great. But I think still at this valuation, there's a lot of headwinds coming for the economy on a macro basis. Yes, they were early in EV. Yes, they were the best, or maybe still are the best, if you want to call it that. But a lot of competition's coming, and we're going into recession, it appears. So this is not immune from a normal economic cycle. And I still believe that on a fundamental basis, it's still very rich. Yeah, just to be really clear, I mean, you know, you didn't short the stock today, right? I mean, the stock's right. had like a big move here. You've been short. You've had a fundamental reason for the short. And I think that, you know, as I've been talking to you over the course of this year, I mean, what's happened with Elon, it really is about him not being at Tesla. I mean, when you think about how much of that $500 billion market cap is encapsulated in his association with it, is the, is the Twitter thing and, and some of the other stuff that's going on in and around it, is that a big part of it? Because if he is a big part of this valuation, and he's not likely to maybe have the same focus he's had in years past, is that part of it? Yeah, he's running three, four, five companies, big companies, three very large companies at this point. And so there's a lot of, obviously, that he has to deal with. And if he's getting margin called, if that's the reason that he's been selling stock here, whether he's going to replace some of the debt, the unsecured debt, three billion that we heard about in the papers a couple weeks ago, we haven't seen a reason yet that he's sold over seven billion stock, seven billion dollars worth of stock over the last couple weeks and months. So you know, that's on top of the $33 billion that he had done before. So it still remains to be seen. And I just think people, if you're a Tesla shareholder, and you can, I have nothing against people being long it, you're getting frustrated here because his attention span is being compromised. And I think they want him to focus on the business. And maybe the business isn't growing like it used to. And that would be the reason to stay short. But to your point, Dan, I'm not adding here. Um, obviously, that's not a smart thing to do. It's, it's down a lot. But put it in perspective. It's a 15 for 1 split is what this has gone through in the last, you know, the five for one and the three for one. This stock is still the equivalent of over $2,000 on an apples to apples basis from four or five years ago, from the time that 420 was the funding secured. So put that in perspective. And the last thing I'll say is, I think when stocks go down like this, that I don't believe trade on fundamentals, it makes you take a better look at what the fundamentals are. If it doesn't trade on that, what is the buying point? I don't know. Right. And, and then you layer in on it, you know, the question about just PEs in general in this sort of investing environment, Danny. So I'm, I'm wondering how you think about the markets now in light of what the Fed did yesterday. 
and these you know supposedly high growth stocks or at least valued like high growth stocks it's very frustrating I think people that watched the Fed yesterday and saw that uh, they're not either seeing what we're seeing but again this is a Fed who said inflation uh, was transitory right and now they're erring on the other side I believe but I think the noise of the Fed whether it's 25 basis points 50 or 75 more to go I think we're going to shift to your point Melissa in the new year on fundamentals of companies because to me that's going to move to the backdrop will there be a point where they stop yes will there be a point where they cut yes do I think they get over five percent not a chance in terms of Fed funds so I think we'll have a lot of back and forth with that but I think the shift is quickly moving to <coughs> fundamentals and that's why I still like the Tesla short. I always so that right there is just explain the fact that the Fed could end up easing on rates, which could potentially lead to more bullish market, which could potentially lead to a much earlier bounce in the Tesla stock than if, you know, the current track that we're currently on right now. Now, of course, a quick reminder, guys, if you have not yet, smash that like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so you guys get notified for videos just like this and more. Let's keep this going. And then I want to give you guys a little bit of a wrap up for the next level to keep an eye on for Tesla because this has come down a long way since we started going short. And I don't think this short is over. I just ask you this. Are there any new shorts out there that you're excited <laughs> about? Or or are you more inclined to be long at this point? I'm more inclined to be long and find mm -hmm. good cash flowing companies, uh, don't have a lot of debt on their balance sheet, can have pricing power in this type of environment. And there always are going to be those. And I tell people all the time, if you're looking at an ETF, stop with the ETFs and find an individual stock. If you look at the bank index and the XLF, do I want to own Bank America, Wells Fargo? Maybe not. But are Goldman, is Goldman Sachs a great company that trades very well in this type of environment? Sure. So I think you need to be a stock picker in this environment. And it excites me that there's opportunities, especially on the long side, that I think are going to come. Danny, always good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Danny Moses, a big short fame guy. It is the month of December. So Movement's giving away up to 20 free stocks. They have level two data, market flow, and of course, educational videos. You get a free stock just for simply signing up. Link's in the description below. Go check it out today. All right, guys. So let's get back to it. So what I really want to talk to you guys about is where Tesla is right now, what levels to keep an eye out for, and how you guys could potentially put yourselves in position to be profitable or at least witness one of the largest falls from grace if you will that we've seen in the stock market now of course quick reminder guys smash the like button subscribe to the channel all right so let's get into it tesla right now currently sitting at 111.88 basically looking like it's at daytime lows right now when we do scroll back here guys take a look at this all the way back here in february 2020 when the pandemic started tesla was worth the equivalent of 63 roughly 64 bucks at the peak and this is all before we started going on this rip here because you know tesla was added to the uh s p 500 and I think there was a bit of a elongated short squeeze that basically happened with Tesla that really did get the stock moving. Now, the stock moved from roughly 66 bucks, and this is roughly at the end of 2020 or mid 2020, all the way here to the end of 2020, when it was up over $200 a share. Now, that's a substantial pull up. Now, if we look at Tesla now, guys, it is pulling all the way back down to where it was in 2021, and it could very well be coming all the way back down to where it was in 2020. That would lead Tesla to be sitting at $60 per share. Now, I've been talking to you guys on the live stream and not all you guys that are currently watching this channel also watch the live for the last 12 to 14 months i've been saying i'm going short on tesla i'm going short on tesla i'm going short on tesla and i have receipts from a lot of people saying a lot of you know crazy things saying i don't know what i'm talking about which is perfectly fine but i'm often correct as well it's just around 70 percent 75 percent 80 percent on a good week 70 percent on a bad week the point is with this play guys tesla is currently roughly down 70 percent from when we first started speaking about it it is now currently sitting at 111 percent i still think tesla potentially has a long way to go down you don't want to get caught slipping here but if you can't play carefully there is a very slippery slope in which tesla could end up being sub 100 over the next few weeks all right now i want you guys to of course take a look at the charts play it safely if you guys choose to play at all i'm not a financial advisor take everything i say the grain of salt but hopefully some of this content can help you guys put yourselves in position to be more profitable than not because the idea here is to keep retail investors in the stock market throughout the bear run so they can profit from the next bull run okay my name is tmi guys i am the mass investor Thank you guys very much for tuning in right now. If you guys have not yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys are looking for more information on trading, live streams, watch streams, call outs, all that good stuff to help you guys be more profitable or more comfortable in the market, guys, take a look at the link in the description below. We do have our Discord, guys, with a holiday sale. Feel free to jump in there. We have live shares in there, two or three of them every single day, including myself. And uh, we like to have some fun, all right? So thank you guys very much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.